everybody, welcome back to the dojo. Today we are on Pandora. Michael, we're on sunny Pandora to hunt some skags and some raiders in Borderlands 3. You ready? Do you got your gun? Yeah, I got it right here. What? What? What is that? It, what is it, that? It's a gun. That's not a gun. This is a gun. This is the B-52 XL9 Terminator. This thing shoots fire. It shoots ice. It shoots a good ending to Game of Thrones season 10. Well, that's just impossible. It shoots, you know, just like good feelings, bad feelings. It shoots uh, grenades that turn into robots that shoot grenades that also turn into robots. It shoots uh, marinara sauce, if you need that. What? It also talks. Say hello, James. Hello, Michael. See? Thank you, James. You're welcome. Hey, what does this button do? Wait, wait, wait! All right, Michael, are you ready to see uh, whether Borderlands 3 is actually fucked up or whether it was just everything around Borderlands 3 that was fucked up? Well, like, is there a Randy Pitchford NPC? I, 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 if it is, I expect it to be broken and to say something bad about a person. It's so, just covered in white powder. <laughs> welcome, everybody, back to the Dojo and Rage Light Time. Jeff, I'm Mike. <laughs> we're playing Borderlands 3. Uh, I think you and I played the last. We played Borderlands the... We played it during E3, that uh, DLC that they put out, Yeah, right? we played the, the prequel to this. Okay. Uh, so I played a little bit of this, but I skipped all the cutscenes and didn't pay any attention. So I should be able to come back into it. So let's go ahead and play. Let's create a new character, and we're gonna do normal mode. Oh, jeez. Okay, there's it's the, so, the there's menu the is sound. so silent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, cooperation. Yep. Let's cooperate. Jolly so cooperation. You want to hear a story? Oh, right. Uh, so, oh, yeah, there's the little... so th they've they've stuck to their their um their roots. You cannot skip this 10-minute intro. So, oh, really? Everybody get, yep, yep. Everybody get get comfortable while fucking Marcus tells you this story for the, what, eighth time? Like, that's the entirety of the series, basically. Yep. I think it's one of the few series that, like, when it has sequels, it's willing to, like, connect them all together. Yeah. Especially, like, shoot some, especially, like, these kind of RPG-ish type ones. Well, it's got, I mean, it's got a, like, really cohesive story, right? Yeah. One is, is F, and then it's one, and then two, and then the pre-sequel comes before two. Two. And it's then, the Handsome Jack, and then this is after two, so. I don't know when the Telltale one connects, though. Uh, before, the, at least the DLC for two, because remember, the main character from two was, like, weird in that one. Oh, yeah. So anyway, all you need to say, Marcus, is like, right? There's like vaults, and they're full of old alien tech, and vault hunters go to there, and like corporations want to stop them. There's a lot of crazy shit. And then, okay, the, the new four. Are those, like, bunny robots? What's going on there? Maybe. Shooting things. <laughs> you know, okay, so I, this is not a thing. I never really, I never beat Borderlands 1. I did beat Borderlands 2, but I didn't play that. I didn't beat the pre-sequel, and I didn't play the DLC. And, like, all the story for this game is, like, Lilith! She's the greatest, and I'm like, but is she? I, yeah, I don't, like, I don't remember her in two actually, because she's just one of the playable characters. And no, yes, no, she was a siren from the first one. She was the leader of like the city in two. Yeah. Uh, well, the first one, first one was a weird one because yeah, it's like the ancient vaults, and then by the time when you find it, it turns out it was like it had like a giant enemy in it. Yeah. And that was the that was the twist was that it was actually worthless. It's just full of bad guys. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, so obviously we're we're playing Borderlands here. <laughs> um, well, it's like the cover or whatever. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> looks relatively similar. And also, this is the same thing that happens at the beginning of two. It was unskippable in two as well. Is the thing gonna come by and hit him? <laughs> Maybe. I bet. I bet. Or it's gonna grab that skag or something. Oh, he used it to. Uh. Yep, oh, there, there we go. There we go. Called it. And I didn't even watch this part, so I, you know. Uh. Oh, geez. <laughs> so what do you what do you think about the idea, Michael? That like this is just 
It's just more Borderlands, right? Like, That's it's really the, what it comes down to. Uh, like, do you think that this is a franchise that where where we need to just kind of be like Call of Dutying it and just like, ah, here's the new one. It's got some new powers and a few new things and some different areas, but it's not really substantially different than what we've already seen from previous Borderlands. Well, I don't feel like it's exactly that. Yeah, because it, it still has writing in it. Is the thing <laughs> like somebody has to come up with the, with I'm the sorry. good writing in it? Can I can we put the quote the quotey fingers on writing? Well, it's, it's more <laughs> writing than Call of Duty gets. <laughs> Call of Duty is they watch a watch an old movie, and then they're just like, yeah, let's do that instead. I don't know. I I feel like uh, Borderlands is just like, oh man, don't you love how extreme it is? Look at these little people raiders, and oh, aren't they so weird? Look at them. It's like, I mean, yeah, but they're in like two other games, so so we gotta decide who we're gonna be. Oh yeah, that's a good question. Uh, uh, who, well, what are you thinking? I, I'm I'm gonna kind of leave the decision up to you. I'm playing. I played a little bit of Moe's in uh, the what I played, because um, I like the big robots, right? That's like, fair. Like Titanfall. Uh, I'm 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 a little interested to see what what the new siren. The new siren seems like more of a heavy than before, right? Yeah. Like the previous sirens were, were like mages. I don't know. This guy, Zane, seems like he might be, like, mechanically the safest to play, but he also seems like the most boring um, as just, like, the soldier. Uh, Is he the soldier, though? Yeah. He, he's, he's got the deployable shield and then a decoy and then a little, like, um, a little, uh, uh, like, uh, drone that goes out and shoots people. Oh, okay. And then Flack has, like, the beast, so he's kind of like Mordecai from the first one, but oh, okay. then also... They all have three different. Um, they they have three different power tiers like they used to. But the big thing here is you can actually, if you give up your grenade slot, you can actually equip two powers at the same time. So oh, okay. Uh, except for Moe's, I think that Moe's you just are equipping the right hand, left hand of the mech. So you always equip two. But ah, it's a beautiful day. It is Full nicely property. higher resolution. Having just played the like remaster of the first one and the second one, like it's better looking than those. I think we should go with the siren, to be honest. You think so? Yeah, I legitimately think that's a good so idea. Flack, Animal Companion, Zane. I think Zane is boring. I've already played his Moe's. She's cool. I mean, you just get to deploy a big mech. And I, I like, like that. Zane's like design a lot, though. Yeah, I do too. I actually started briefly with him, and then I looked at his. I I kind of don't like the fact that that. Okay, this is one of my pet peeves about all the Borderlands games is that I feel like once you've watched that intro, you should be able to skip it because I always start a Borderlands game and I get to about level five and I'm like, no, 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 I don't want to be this one. I want to be somebody else. Oh, I got you. And then I have to go watch that whole intro all over again. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't mind uh, checking out Amara. Let's see what I she does. I think it's a good idea. Let's we'll see what she does. So. No vault hunter, huh? Subtitles? Marcus. Subtitles? That's weird. There were subtitles a second ago. <laughs> subtitles. Oh. Did someone survive the attack? Now, is that Lilith? Lilith. I think it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bandits, you I always think it's weird when it does that. Yeah, why are you live action? You could just make her... Because it's like in your mind or whatever. Yeah, but why is my mind live action? <laughs> like, can you imagine if your, if your imagination was only anime, but you, you were in the real world? I mean, maybe that's how it actually is, but I, I, don't, I don't know. I do like that they have. They seem to have like character-specific lines, though. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a boring character that's been in every one of these games. Just kind of a Russian stereotype. <laughs> yeah, Borderlands. Shut up, Marcus. I hate you. Oh. The new claptrap. Yep. So is this supposed to be? But is this supposed to be the same claptrap? I don't know. But the the voice actor I know is different because of his. Did you I? Know, did fight. I? Listen. Oh, no! I don't want to. <laughs> no, it doesn't I, matter. I don't want to update my game. I was just looking for like subtitles. Pretty sure they're turned on already. Yep. You know who I oh, am. oh, okay. It just fucked up in the middle of it. Crime fighter. The Tiger of Partali. That's interesting. I'm more of a Mario Vitali kind of guy, but that's <laughs> Vitali, Vitali, not Vitali. I can tell it's not the original guy pretty easily. Yeah? Yeah. I can't. I don't know. There's something know. very specific about the way the other guy talked. So this is a bad impressionist, though. This is what they... This is... They already showed this. This was like the demo. Um, they showed like the... Okay. That's all right. We'll plow through it. 
Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Timely reference to cell phones. Yeah. <laughs> They've been working on this for a while, then, if that's the case. Either that or, like, they just, you know. They're, they're, it's a bunch of, like, 35-year-olds trying to, like, make jokes, uh, timely jokes. They're just like, oh, remember when cell phones used to blow up? Oh, yeah, that was crazy. I don't know why they're all Canadian. Yeah, I was like, brain, what? But, uh, <laughs> they're all Canadian as fuck. Yeah. Because Randy Pitchford's Canadian, I guess? Question Is he mark? Canadian? No, he's from Texas, know. last I heard. I think he's from Texas. Okay, Claptrap, you were exhausting two games ago, so like, let's not. See, so yeah, anyway, that is endearing. Uh, right? Yeah. Okay, I don't give a shit. Yep. Oh man, Michael, uh, user agreements. It's so timely. Yeah, I don't really understand uh, that one. Everybody hates Windows 95 user agreements. Oh man. I'm sorry. I'm gonna try not to be like a super shitty, salty shit this entire time. Well, it's hard to care. Like, well, it, like, like, I'm not even upset that you're doing that. Like, because I don't give a fuck right now, <laughs> which yeah. is sad because I really like Borderlands, or at least I kind of did. I don't. That's the thing. I don't even know if I did or not <laughs> at this point. I guess it's just like by the time I got to the end of Borderlands Two, I was kind of over its particular sense of humor. And then the pre-sequel, they were just like, oh, now it's even more. Check out all these weirdos. I think it's just the older I get, some of the humor just doesn't work for me anymore. Yeah. Because I was young enough to, like, where it was that sort of juvenile-ish humor that worked on me. Yeah. Although I still get a kick out of uh, Torque. Torque still makes me laugh every time. Ooh, bammo. Come on. Go. Go, 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 go. Also, Borderlands is ugly. <laughs> well, it's it's its art style or whatever. Yep. I think it's supposed to look ugly. Yep, I agree. I kind of wish that if we were doing this, that we would have started on a different planet than Pandora, uh, just because I know there are other planets that we're going to go to that is not oh, yeah. Pandora. And some of the other places look really cool, like some of like the, all the robots, uh, like Hyperion or whatever. What is he doing? Oh. He's sneaking. He's being stealthy. Well, that's kind of fun. Yeah. Speaking of fun. It just makes me think of uh, Kronk from uh, <laughs> uh, The Emperor's New Groove. Oh, my God. This is the fucking best <laughs> of that movie. <laughs> <laughs> like when he's fucking just hiding yep, in the wall. Yep. Oh, my oh God. he's doing his own theme If music. you guys have never seen that movie, you should watch that movie. Who it's hasn't seen? Good. Yeah. Isn't it against the law not to have seen The Emperor's New Groove? I got watch in trouble for, for, with my parents for returning that tape late because I kept so watching it so much. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I will say this is better than the first, um, than that first mission in Borderlands 2 where you're in the snow and you got to kill the bully mongs, and I've oh, done yeah. it a hundred million times. That mission's not great. Uh, it's not even. It's not even that it's bad. It's just that I've, like, you have to do it. So. Uh, one no of the cool things, it. I don't know if you remember this from this demo, but like all the guns have a, or all the pistols have like an alt fire. So you've just got like your regular pistol, but then you can also alt fire it to little rockets. Oh, yeah. Um, even though it like goes through your ammo way faster. Yeah, it was yeah, Cloudtrap was mentioning it right now. Jesus. So uh, I finally watched all of what we do in the shadows on, on uh, the FX show. Oh, okay. It's really, really good. Okay. It's really funny. That's cool. And there's a great episode called the va involving a vampire council. Yep. I've heard told all you about anything that. Yeah, if I told the audience anything about it, it just ruins the whole thing, because that shit was amazing. Oh, my God. Completely surrounded, huh? I like how it's got one of those, like, fucking things that pops up. It's like the uh, Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Jesus. It's so weird. Oh, okay. I'm still kind of curious to know how every single Borderlands game, the quote unquote Vault Hunter starts with no personal shield. <laughs> It never really <laughs> makes any sense <laughs> like, why every vault hunter starts with, like, jack shit. Yeah. Like, there was a whole cutscene of them murdering things with other things. Oh. Okay. All right, let's go kill some <laughs> motherfuckers. Uh, so we got 
regular shots. We get a little missiles. Maybe we can do some missiles. It's all right. Uh, all right. One of the things that I do like is apparently they finally got the message, and I don't think you have to hit the square button to pick up just, like, random ammo and stuff anymore. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, which is good. It was a pain in the ass in the other ones. Yeah. Because you just pick up fucking whatever that way. Well, because I, I don't want to not pick things up, video game. Just, like, let me let me do it. Let me pick stuff up. <laughs> Jesus. What? What? Did you, like, throw me, like, a health pack or something? he was, like, mentioning something. Wait, where was it? Where did he? Okay, all right, let's go rescue Claptrap. Oh, he was kidnapped. I know Claptrap can be a little. Well, so that is supposed to be the original Claptrap. Yeah. I'll be there soon. I'm so weirded out by the live action thing. It's just a strange decision. It's just a strange decision. I, did, like, I don't remember if it did it in the other one. Oh yeah, it it totally did. Uh, ooh, iron willed peacekeeper. Oh, what's this thing? Look at this motherfucker. It's got like a uh, oh jeez, like a bayonet and a sight on it. Uh, Big old revolver. And this thing is just like real basic looking. Let's try this thing. Oh, out. I thought it shows the stats when you switch it though. Yeah. Uh. Well, I got some. I got some distance now, right? Ooh, nice. Okay. Well, it's accurate as hell. I wonder, does it have a uh, an alt fire mode? No, it does not. Okay, it's all right. I like, I dig the sight. It's pretty cool. Uh, all right, let's grab some ammo. Shoot some of these terrible shots. Raiders. Let's shoot this big barrel. There we go. It's good dude. Oh shit. Uh, melee. Oh jeez. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Okay. All right. That dude fucking exploded. Yep. Well, my pistol does have a knife on the front of it for some stupid reason. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Get shield generator. Uh, Search for shield. Take shield. Let's see. And get this man a shield. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. I actually know where the shield is. That's stupid of me to pretend like I did. Uh... <laughs> Shield? I've never heard of such a thing. What? Jeff said. Oh my, it's just like that Halo Master Chief game that I love so it's much. It's just like the Halos. Uh, he kills aliens and he doesn't afraid of anything. Yep. It's an old fucking reference. <laughs> I'm uh I'm kinda gonna be curious to know if I'm gonna like actually play through this game or whether I'm just gonna kinda like forget about it once uh um uh, Knowing you could go either way, to be honest. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. Like, it is it is one of those... See, I don't know. I've I always considered Borderlands to be one of those, like, kind of like the Division or, like, Destiny, where it's like, you don't really have to pay much attention to it. You can kind of just be, like, watching, you know, you watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine and then just, like, kind of go to the thing, kill everybody that's there, rinse and repeat, uh, and then the game is over. Stop every so often and, like, watch a cutscene. Well, the thing about Borderlands that that why it's beloved is that it's very it's very co-op centric. Yeah, is the thing. Uh, um, that's the, not the part that I like. Well, that's that's what I was, that's what I was, that's why I said with you it could go either way. Yeah, because I know with like co-op, but the game is still like good enough to where it's still a good single player game. Yeah, but it's it's main selling point for a lot of people is always like. You know, playing with friends or Ooh, something. Nice. Like, I was literally at work, and I was overhearing a bunch of coworkers talking about playing it. I think on PC? Oh, yeah. That was what they were talking about. On the Epic Game Store. Traitors! Oh, <laughs> you traitors. God damn it. Oh, god damn it. Well, j jump in this fire. Walk over the fire. Stand in. There you go. That was good. You just jumped right. In. Oh, god damn it. I think it went away. All yeah, right. It disappeared before we walked fuck, up to it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, god. Okay, never mind. That's not working. He's, he's spinnings. All right, there we go. Level two. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, action skills unlocked. Permanently increase your skills. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, we know how Borderlands works. Pandora was going to give me a challenge. Uh, ooh, that's kind of nice. Look how he had a gun on him. Okay, unlock so action weird. skills. <laughs> so, so let's see what we got. Um, 
So you should have three different ones, and I think they let us have the base skill for all of them by default. So uh, skip that. We already I already know. So phase grasp. Amara summons a giant fist that bursts from the ground and locks the target enemy in place for a few seconds. Some enemies are immune to being grasped uh, and instantly take damage instead. That sounds kind of boring. Uh, Amara leaps into the air and then slams the ground, dealing damage and all enemies and knocking them up. I actually kind of like that. That one sounds cool. Uh, let's do that. And then what's this one? Phase cast sends forward an astral projection of herself to damage everything in the path. That sounds good. Oh, we you only, know what? We only had the one. Oh, that's weird. Everybody else has a different... So what's this? Action skill. Augment how your action skill behaves. Change the damage type of your action skill. Oh, so she only gets one, but then you get to like really customize it. Yeah. Uh, all right, which one do you want? Do you want the jump in the air, or do you want like send a ghost forward? I like the jump in the air one. Okay. Because that Dude, one just sounds rad. Yep. Let's do that. Uh, Okie dokie. Let's see what we got going on here. Mm, yeah, people were, God, people were waiting for this game for ages now. Like, yeah. every now and then, like, on the internet, there would be a guy going, you know what, they should make another Borderlands. Yeah, I've always been a little bit kind of like, really? <laughs> I mean, I I don't know. But then I, I uh, but then as has previously been established, Michael, I am a game whore. Uh, I have no no fidelity towards franchises, so it's like, I thought Borderlands was okay, and people are like, you should make another one. And I'm like, I think you should make a Duke Nukem game, but whatever. I don't give a shit. I, I, I think that too, to be honest. But uh, make, yeah. whatever you, make whatever you feel like. It really just comes down to the fact that a lot of people have a lot of nostalgia for it. Yeah. And people will constantly be like, yeah, I've beaten the game like a million bajillion times. I think um, it's weird because like the first one, right, was like, was like a mid-tier game, right? It wasn't supposed to be like this big... Uh, like this big franchise. I feel like it was like somebody had a good idea. What if we put Diablo mechanics in a first person shooter? And then they, they did that and it was okay. And then everybody was just like, no, you've got to play this Borderlands game. Like, I don't yeah. think it was ever supposed to be like a huge thing. Yeah, that was uh, the thing. When I played it, I thought it was okay. And I played it with friends at that point. But by the time I played it, I had a friend who just gave me like all this insane shit. So it just wasn't as fun because of it, too. Hey, look, it's Lilith. Yeah, how important is Lilith? She's so important. She's super important. Commander of the Crimson Raiders. Who are the Crimson Raiders? The Peoples. I see them at the end of two. Okay. I'll bet. Well, the cults destroyed every other Crimson Raider stronghold, so this will have to do for now. So what's your name, killer? Uh. I am Amara. Nice tattoo, Siren Sister. You must be the voice in my head. So when do we meet the Twitch streaming lady? Yeah. No, no. Not the weirdest thing you're going to see on Pandora. But seriously, thanks for answering my call. We might not have the number. Okay, put your head right in the middle of the circle. Right in the middle there. All right. Oh, man. Pandora's a dangerous place. That grenade mod will come in handy. You got a grenade mod? Okay. Uh, I mean, at least they're kind of getting to it way faster than yeah. in previous games. Like... It's only been 20 minutes, and we've got a shield, a grenade mod, and our power, so um, ready. I'm ready. I'm always looking for new ways to take my enemies apart. All right. With my energy hands. What do you think about... Um, what? Uh, Let's see what you got, recruit. Okay. Oh. Too. Let's use your power. Use the power. Roar, blam! There we go. That's, That's pretty, pretty cool. good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I wonder how fast it recharges. doesn't seem like it recharges super, super fast. Where does the... This? Oh, there it is. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Listen, ass face. Why don't you just slap him in, uh... Slap him in the chest? This. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, jeez. I don't like this. This one-shot reload nonsense. It's not great. <laughs> not when it... I mean, if it's the Doom shotgun, uh, the Doom 2 shotgun, then I'm cool. But, like... Otherwise, I think I need a little bit more. Uh, somebody dropped a gun over here. What is this? Another pistol. Oh, okay. It's got a weird little thingy on the front of the barrel. It's like a silencer? I don't know what the that fuck looks is like going a on silencer. with this gun. All right. Let's give it a shot. I'd like a machine gun, ho, ho, ho. All that right. would be nice. Got a foothold. Maybe things are turning our way. Come on, so I guess maybe we should have played, like... Uh, Let me catch you up. 
while back we found a map. Okay. I was just about to say they really need to like get into what the fuck is going on in this story. Fears that we're doing that right now. So we got attacked and the map was lost. Oh, because of the that was the map that was in the last in the DLC, I think. So focused on finding the map, I didn't notice that Pandora was changing. The bandit clans used to just murder each other for fun. Okay. Now they're all under one banner. A cult. Oh, I get it. So that's why everything's all crazy. Okay. Because they so were they, all united. They united the, the 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 weird raiders, and then they took her map about where all the vaults are. Maybe. So then they've got. Oh. I think they're also looking for the map. Oh, okay. Yep. You are correct. All right. What now? What now? Oh, god damn you. <sighs> She's just going to punch the door or whatever. Oh. oh. Shut up, uh, Claptrap. Shut uh, up, Claptrap. He did a should, funny. Should be able to, like, um... Oh, is this that thing that I was seeing on the internet where it's like, this is copyrighted? Or, like, some of the early builds that the reviewers were given, there was, like, a thing on this that said... This is a copyrighted image changed before shipping or something like oh, that. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> the fuck? Okay. The map. I knew it. We have to beat them to the Sun Smashers. The what? Uh, I think it's like a uh, like one of the clans, like one of the divisions or something. Oh, okay. I don't know why they're called the Sun Smashers. Wait, that looked like something that was useful. <laughs> like something that was not a <laughs> weird pistol. Uh, Maybe it is a weird pistol. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, I have to be level three. It's the Hurdy Splainer? It's also a it's pistol. Also a pistol. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> they're all pistols. It's something that's not all a of them are pistols. pistol or a shotgun that takes a year to reload. A hundred bajillion guns, and they're uh, all pistols. Ah. Yeah, where about the guns with the feet? You remember the trailer with the guns with the little legs on them oh, that the run around? Guns. I want those. Where are those? Guns that walk. Or like the, um, uh, like those guns where when you reload, you just throw the gun and it blows up like it's a grenade. Yeah, those are all Torx weapons. Oh, yeah. Tork Torque only believes in explosions. <laughs> okay. And so everything he makes is explosion related, no matter what it is. Okay. All right. He's the also, droughts. He's also voiced by uh, Mr. Satan from Dragon Ball Z. Oh. And he's hysterical. Okay. He looks like Macho Man Randy Savage. He's pretty great. No, yeah, I remember Torque. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm. The thing is that I know stuff about Borderlands. It's just, it's never been, like, the most. Uh, it's just not the most, like, stimulating game that there's ever been. <laughs> That's so. Like, I, I still think it's a, not a bad <laughs> series. Just, yeah, it just doesn't grab me the way it does a lot of other people, which is, you know, it just means it's not for me, really. Yeah. What it comes down to. I also think that I've come I've come to the point where a lot of the looter stuff just doesn't really appeal to me quite as much because Is that another shotgun? Uh where? In the fridge door. Oh. Uh e yes. It's got a magazine size of 6. Well, it's like a Hey, it's pump action. All right. Good looking out, Michael. I was just going to leave that shotgun in the fridge. <laughs> I was going to fridge that shotgun. Uh all right. The fridge is <laughs> so, Dr. Zed's mess. We have a better. Ooh, that's a blue one. I'll take that. Uh, let's just sell off everything that's not. That was the shotgun that you got picked up. What? I think that. No, that oh, was okay. the old shotgun. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought that was the one you picked. I freaked out there for a second. I was like, did you just sell your own, like, or the only weapon you have equipped? No. That scared the shit out of me. Maybe. That sounds like a thing Jeff would do. Uh, I think I did that in a, in a Borderlands game once, and I was so upset. <laughs> Let's do that one. And, yeah, I guess it's just uh, you start to get to a, a, a thing where, like, I feel like a lot of times that game developers do this thing where when they have a loot system, they feel like they can kind of just ignore aspects of the story because they're like, well, you're just, like, super into getting loot, right? And it's like, mm, I mean... Uh, but I get, I'm in to get loot so I can beat the bosses so I can see like what happens in the video game, right? Yeah. So, uh, is this little uh, can I make a car? Can that make a car? 
I don't uh, think you can yet. No I think cars? it's, I think okay. it's broken. Okay. Well, let's go. I see an exclamation point over here. I know what that means. Let's go to the exclamation point. Stealing people's mail. Oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so they've got... They're running commercials? <laughs> yeah, they they got to get recruit somehow. Uh, uh, what kind of wasteland is this? <laughs> it's a TV kind. Repair is vending machines. Okay. Oh, I think this is like a submission. Maybe. Oh, wait. Oh, cool. You can switch between the like the quest that you're going towards. Oh, cool. So you've got like identify the problem for powerful connections. Wait, what about the sun guy? Maybe we should... Oh, the sun smasher? Yeah. I thought that was what this one was, but it still says... Oh, there we go. I think you just said, didn't switch to the right one. I think maybe we need to stop this game and do that day one patch or whatever it is. I mean, I already downloaded whatever the day one patch was, but... I'm looking for a real challenge. I guess it's maybe the other thing is that I feel like that the uh, the Vault Hunters have been fighting back against like the Raiders for three games now, and Pandora is still a shithole. Like, <laughs> well, it's one of those things. It's it's like it's like RoboCop's Detroit. It's like Detroit still sucks, but he's still gonna fight for it. I guess if that makes sense. It's kind of this gun kind of sucks too. That one's a little better. Uh, what? The hell is that? <laughs> I don't, that's one of the baddies. They just just ran right in front of me. That was weird. Like an idiot. Uh, Can I get like a? Okay, thing. here we go. Yeah, I don't know if I like that one all that much. Let me try the other one out real fast, uh, since we can kind of just switch on the fly. That's uh, phase cast. Yeah, there we go. Let's try that out. Which I like the fact that they that they let you unlock all three of those skills. It like, is very useful. Like instead of like making you go to like level three or some horse shit. I don't think anyone has machine guns though. Oh, well, I think that guy does. Ooh, level three! Alright. I like this this gun's alright. Oh guys it's killing pretty quickly. Uh oh that's just like a thing. Is that another are these guns? Hey, assholes! I'm trying to loot! Alright? Stow it. God. All right, all right. Fucking get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, I wait, do I have my, those grenades? There we go. I think my only issue with this game, yeah, it just looks like more Borderlands. It uh, doesn't look like it's changed much between two. Uh, maybe probably bigger, I guess. And I'm see. sure like somebody's going to be like, there's all this detail or whatever. But it still just looks like Borderlands to improved. me. Killing an enemy grants a stack of rush. Activating action skill consumes all the rush. Playing a status effect. Okay, uh... Convert a portion of damage dealt by Amara's weapons into her action skill element? No idea what that means. Okay. Increase weapon handling. Status effects deal increased damage. Uh, increase max health. Weapon shot deal bonus damage based on the distance to her target. Constantly regenerates health. I want to do that one just because, I don't know. I, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, it seems like you can kind of respec on the fly, too, and... I'm a little bit. I'm not the the world's greatest borders lander, so uh, yeah. No, I agree with you. Like, uh, part of me wonders, like, and, but part of me kind of wonders, like, what what do you change, right? I mean, I'm like, I'm not a game developer, so you know, it's not really my job. But like, on the other hand, I don't know. I was thinking, like, what if you made Borderlands, uh, like, serious, right? Like, what if you turned it to a more serious franchise? Do you think that people? I mean, I know that. I know some people are going to be mad, but people are always going to be mad. So, like, um, maybe that or maybe, like, well, honestly, I, I think it comes uh, down to, um, I think just Jesus. polish, polish the character Whoa, animations, I think, is what it comes down to. What do you mean? Because a lot of games now have these, like, like when, when you talk to a character now, they actually have all these animations where they're where everything's moving and it feels more fluid instead of, like, a stiff character model that just sort of stares at you. So kind of like the way that Gears 5, like, has it really, like, it hasn't really changed the Gears formula. It's just kind of 
polished it up, or like Uncharted Four, yeah, where exactly. it's not doing anything like supremely different. I guess Uncharted Four was doing a little bit different, right? Well, it, well, it does. Uh, a, it does a lot, like a little, a lot of gameplay stuff differently. Yeah. But there's also just it just looks so so much better than the past ones. Yeah. Is what it comes at. Like I can tell the difference between Uncharted One, Two, and Three, and Four. Whereas with Borderlands, I would have a hard time telling the difference between two pre sequel and this. Well, especially now that the two and the pre sequel have had the and, and the first one have had all those graphical upgrades, right? So like yeah. the art style is gonna be the same as it used to be. Um uh, yeah, I don't know. I could see it. Um but then again, you know, I made an argument a long time ago for uh I think I actually like wrote into like Giant Bomb or something <laughs> back in the old days. Uh like when, when they had their kind of like uh podcast questions it was like, you know how everybody just shat on Bioshock 2? It was like, this is just more Bioshock. And I was like, I like Bioshock. I wanted more Bioshock. Like, I don't I don't give a shit that it was just the same game, but more of it, because I like that game, and I wanted more of it. So, you know, maybe just a slightly better looking Borderlands with some slight improvements. That's what people are into, you know? Uh, yeah, like, and I don't, like, I, I, I don't hate the idea of more Borderlands. I just don't. I just kind of. I feel like they're not really using the next gen system to its capabilities. I guess if right. that makes sense. Like it feels like they just made another 360 game. Right. Is what is my issue with it? I think. Like yeah. even graphically. Like in all honesty, yeah. this could have been like. Uh, well, I mean, we don't know. Again, like we do know that you're gonna go up into like, you're gonna go to space. There's gonna be other planets. So it's obviously bigger than just like Pandora was in the previous game, uh, but. That's probably what they put all of it into then, if that's the case. Yeah, that's what I'm starting to wonder is because, the I don't know, I, I'm trying not to repeat myself of just being like, I've played this game. This game that I'm, do what I'm doing right here, shooting raiders with shotguns every so often, popping a special ability, you know, picking up some loot. I played this game. <laughs> I played this game a bunch of times. Um, yeah. And it's kind of always been called Borderlands, so. Uh, and, yeah, I feel like... Yeah, if it just comes down to like the differences of what and what it is, and yeah, the different planets thing is probably really what it comes down to. Um, I don't know. No idea where that's coming from. Oh, I'm sure it's in the cutscene. Well, oh, that's what you want to see. Wait, so now is that is that the guy from the Telltale game? I think so. Why is it because I think he was in the last thing, wasn't he? Yeah, because he was like filthy Superman in the last one, right? That's him, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Why is he like that? <laughs> I don't Why know. Why is he wearing his underwear and a beard and he's like a hobo Superman? Hobo man. Super hobo man. Uh, shoot down Vaughn. So weird. You know what? I'll tell you what. Uh, no. Uh, let's, let's keep it for the moment. Thanks. If you hadn't come along, I might be dead. So, what are you doing here? I found them. I came to see Pandora. So weird. Half-naked bandits, clearly. Also, I just joined up with Lilith and the Crimson Raiders. You're with the Firehawk? Oh man, I used to run with Lilith back in the day. But you know, no, I'm a bandit. What if that was that the DLC? <laughs> I think so. I mean, at least I used to be a war chief until you know my clan found that stupid alien junk. I warned them not to mess with that crap. But what do they do? They tie me up and they take it to the Calypso Twins. Not cool, bro. Yeah, it does kind of seem like auto lip sync well, mixed with some canned animation of just like so, jiggle around a little bit. Yeah, I kind of wish there was a little more fluid animation to some of them. Because a lot of stuff has been a lot more polished in their people's movements. Yeah, but... But this this is the reason I feel it's just more like more Borderlands instead of a, a more next gen type of game. Yep. So like I said, a lot of people. That's all a lot of people wanted. Yep. I mean, again, like I, I'm not gonna fault anybody who likes Borderlands who wants more Borderlands, but I, you know, the 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 other issue that I, I I've said and will say a bunch of times is that we are right now we are in the middle of a tsunami of like interesting new titles. Of all genres, yeah, and like you know, I guess this is the one for looter shooter people. But then there's also like some Destiny expansions that have happened, and like there's just a lot of great uh, games coming out 
within the next couple months. Yeah. And, and even you know, even this month. And like if and, somebody told yeah. me like all you can play is either control or Borderlands three. Ooh, what's this? Oh, another shotgun. Another shotgun. Oh, I'll take it. Got a higher uh, fire oh, it's a different Oh wow, it's got like a little shield on it. It's fancy. It's a Hyperion. Um if somebody said you could only play Control or Borderlands Three, it wouldn't. I wouldn't think long before answering which one of those two games I wanted to play. Same. Uh, all right, let's go meet the Firehawk. I still like the idea of Borderlands a lot. It's kind of weird that there haven't been a lot of like ripoffs, right? Have there been any Borderlands ripoffs? I mean, I guess you kind of say that like Destiny is a bit of a Borderlands ripoff. Like well, nothing tries to be the same type of game. Yeah. And by that I mean like the comedic version of stuff. I just think of like first person shooter with like Diablo RNG loot. It's really guns. just it's really just Destiny. Yeah. That really went with it. Uh, which is one of the reasons I think I have such a hard time with Borderlands now. Yeah. Is because of how great looking Destiny looks a lot of the times. Because that's the thing about Destiny. Like say what you will about it. It still looks great. Well it also feels great because of Bungie, right? Because Bungie knows how to make shoot and feel good. Yes. They've only been doing it for their entire career. So are we okay? I'm, I'm escorting you. Are we there? I don't know what's oh. happening. Oh, sweet digs. Fortified, well ventilated. You know, throw some. Can you check and see what uh, what our time is like over there? I had a timer up, but then Windows did a dumbass. Like I gotta reboot now, now, motherfuckers. Hey, a Lilith, former war chief of the Sun Smashers. Oh, okay. Reporting for duty. We'll probably wrap it up after we get done here. Good to see you, Vaughn. The Raiders will take all the help we can get. Vault Hunter, you find the map? No. Did oh, I find the map? I found the filthy motherfucker. Map wasn't there, so I took this bandit instead. Map? Uh, if you're talking about that alien junk, my clan is bringing it to the Calypso twins as an offering. Oh. They're heading to the Holy Broadcast Center. It's where the Calypsos host murder sermons to amp up their followers. Okay. Oh, jeez. The Calypsos get that map. The Holy Broadcast Center is a long ride. Vault Hunter, you're going to need some wheels. My friend Ellie runs the catcher ride. Go introduce yourself. And she'll hook you up. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, we will get back to that tomorrow. Oh, we did get like a um, like a cosmetic thing as a reward. We got like a muddy slaughters. So that means we can like change our skin. Oh, yeah. Too muddy version. Okay. Now we can. Now we can look like a hobo. All right, everybody. Hobos for everybody. Hobos for life. Um, <laughs> all right, folks. Well, you know what? Hit the like, subscribe button. Ugh, gross. Oh, it's a poop. It's a poop cannon. It's, poop it's the splainer. Um, uh, sure. Oh, it's all fucking. Look at this thing. Oh, semi-automatic. Um, it also doesn't have a a clip. Uh, you don't ever reload it. It's just 196 shots, start to finish. So that's kind of cool. That that's kind of interesting. Um, anyway, hit the like, subscribe button. Uh, let us know what you think down in the comment section. As always, patreon.com forward slash rage select that. Um, do that. Go there. Oh, can I? Is this like a, a pit boy statue? Nope. Nope. Okay. Um, yeah, kick us some bucks. We'll get you some bonus videos. I think we're just about to start up a new secret sequential, but I don't know what it is yet. I'm still thinking a little bit about uh, options. So, uh, yes. Outside of that, um, uh, Amazon links down below. And Michael, where can people find you on the internet? Uh, sometimes you can find me on one of us. There you go. There you go. Uh, yeah, uh, join us back here tomorrow. We're going to go to Ellie's, I guess, and find out about, we're, I guess we're going to unlock the uh, cars. So we'll see what the cars are like in Borderlands 3. Uh, yeah, we'll see you then. So I need to put up like, this is my gun. It's the uh, XL45 World Destroyer. It has, uh, it's got an iPod, iPod shuffle. It's got... It's got two iPods. It's got an iPod Shuffle. It's got a classic iPod. It's got a Zune. It shoots Zoom? acid and cupcakes. And uh, cupcakes that turn into acid, but you don't want to eat those. Fire, ice, uh, song of fire and ice. Shoots uh, a good ending to Game of Thrones season 10. That's a pretty well, that good one. Any sense. You know, lots of, shoots a lot of stuff, you know. Shoots uh, outtakes 
for the dojo. <laughs> Shoots all kinds of stuff. I don't know what's going on. 